successful. All of them have value to some degree.
clue it was not the brush I thought it was. Time to use some reference. Yeah, so here I'm bringing in a bulldozer. So if you see what I'm doing, just kind of paint it in the basic shape. I use multiply and uh, screen to kind of paint out the shapes that I wanted. And I'll paint away the excess waste that I don't care about. It resembles something like a bulldozer when it's done. Enough that it would convince the client. <laughs> I 
Well, if you could do that, then I'd be out of a job. So, with all due respect, I'm pretty glad you can't do that. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit more than just beaming it on there, but yeah, you guess you're right, you know, just interpreting it differently. I used to think that way too though like oh I wish I could do that but you know then I just decided like okay well if I, that's what I want like what are the realistic steps to get there to something that I would feel comfortable putting my name on so I just started working at it And that's what it looks like up close. It's a big sloppy mess. <laughs> yep. Quite honestly, like I hate making the grass that tall, but I have to because uh, the substrate it's going on to is like a play mat material, so it's a neoprene type material, like a mouse pad, like a big ass mouse pad is what it's going on to. Um. So it can't really hold some of the finer nuances of the grass. So I have to make it bigger than it would normally be. Plus also it's supposed to be like zombie apocalypse. So the grass would overgrow pretty quick. Retro of Halo Styles Progressive Plastic Solid Chairs. 